hello and welcome to my channel my name's Julie um, today I want to share with you how to do the cherished cherished chest <laughs> uh, gift box um, I have a job to get my words out <laughs> I think it's how old you get sometimes anyway here's the die set this one is the outside piece this one here is the inside piece um, and this one here makes another little um, container like a small box without a lid so there's lots of dies this is the belt here and these are your hinges oh, there's, there's so much to play with um, so one I've already done like so and I've left the little box so it can come out or you can glue it in but I thought it would be a good idea just to um, have it coming out it's up to you what you want to do oh. instructions so because I've already I was getting ahead of myself I'm, I'm going to leave that out because sometimes I just need to check to see what I'm doing I got ahead of myself because I'd already made one but I thought I'd just I need some glue and it's back behind here now hmm. because this is the one that's going to go inside so what I've done is I've cut it come like that you cut it out and it'll come like this and these are all your score lines so these tabs you know when we usually put them on the um, inside you're not going to do that they're going to go make sure they go on the outside because when it goes inside that box you want it looking like that you want it looking seamless okay you can't see can you well, I've made this one up before I think I have <laughs> and I've made the other one I just didn't do a video for it I've been a bit busy I've um, done the uh, stuff for the Jubilee I've done some I've dug out my bunting dies made some bunting to go up indoors and some little um, like cake toppers and sandwich toppers and you know just on cocktail sticks and things like that and of course um, Father's Day is next month as well so I've done that as well and also I've actually done um, some Christmas crackers as well because I like to get <laughs> I like to get that out of the way otherwise Christmas is here and you don't you, well you don't have no time well I don't because uh, later on in the year I'm, I'm making like Christmas cake and um, Christmas pudding so card crafting goes out the window that you know later on it's the run up to the big day and it's a stressful time for us women who live in the house <laughs> it's just as stressful for men who like cooking because some men do don't they cooking doors right so you need that to be looking like that so you, and because it fits inside the other one you won't see it okay right let's see if I can sort this out again because I really had to have it in the right way round so that I knew what I was doing I'd have 
it the right way as it shows in the picture <laughs> and otherwise I was getting myself in a in a two and eight that's it I want to um, just make these creases a little bit um, One doesn't feel so I don't it. Let me just see and then that's going to come over like that, that's it. So what I think I've done was um, I glued along here first. I think you'll find your own way of, of um, doing this. Okay, let's put some glasses on. Once you've got that like that, you're now going to put this one into there, like so, okay? So you need to put your glue on the back of these tabs. I was chatting to somebody the other day getting the box all um, sorted out as I thought come to glue it all together and I've got two glue tabs um, on the same side and I've done I've done paper piecing on these um, boxes as well I thought oh no <laughs> <gasps> and I couldn't rescue it in any way so I had to cut it all out again and start all over again that serves me right to try and chat and, um, and not concentrating at the same time so it's best to do this now because you can hide this bit up because this piece is going to come over the top and also you can just about get your um, fingers inside as well just to give it a press okay now it shows you this one coming round like that okay so that is going to um, hide where well, you've just glued that other piece in. Mm. 
Now, the other one, I think I um, glued this on first. Because then I could feel, um, and then I glued the other bits on. That's right, and then I could feel that I got it lined up. Just remember what I'm trying to remember how um, I done the first one. And you know, like when you get a new die set and you're, you're putting it together and you think, where the hell does that go? And I sat there for a good few minutes trying to decipher how to put it together. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. Yeah, what I like to do is just make sure that that is where it's supposed to be and not overhanging too much. Because if you have it overhanging too much, then your box is not going to fit in. And also at this stage, you can give it a press as well on there. And of course, and once you've got that, uh, It does show you how to put this together, so... I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for this longer side first, I think. Yes, I remember now I did do this one first. It does take a little time just to um, catch your glue and everything. Sorry, <laughs> flicked it away. And you've got one down on this end. Just be careful there because. And then one here. In. I 
I'll go along there in a minute. Clean some of that glue off. Can't be having all that, can we? Right, let's just um much there I suppose. I'm not going to worry too much about that piece there because we've got um you get these little um dies as well. These go up on here, so we're just going to place those on. Oh, actually, I'm going to put the long ones on first. To get it right in the right way, Julie, I would make it easy on yourself. Um, make sure that's where that needs to be. Yep. bring that a little bit closer I'm not sure if it if this works like the other one whether you have to turn it the other way I can't can't remember we'll have a look in a minute I've done everything else I'll show you Stop my finger in it again. That's why I end up with um, so much glue everywhere. I stick my fingers in it. I like it when it has that little um, little black uh, sort of black shining through on the corners. Right, let's um, just see. Uh, so that is going to come together. Oh, I see. No. So you won't, will you? Like that. Okay. Right. The next thing, we'll put that to one side for a moment. Uh, I'm just going to put that top on there. The next thing is your hinges. Now I've done three <coughs> and I thought I'd show you um, this one because we're going to cut this one in half because well, I think it's the same as what the other ones were. Let me have a see, yeah, let me have a see, on, I'm just having a look on the packaging. Where are my scissors? Here. So I'm going to see, you need three um like that and the fourth one you're going to cut in half look at that glue everywhere actually i think get the bigger ones please be careful when you're using bigger scissors because i got the thing <laughs> i've got my fingers in the way of them Got my fingers, got my finger and went like that and snipped my skin. Yeah? How silly is that? So, 
I've drawn round this die, what makes that die cut, round the outside. Or was it the inside? I can't remember. Ooh. No, it's the outside. And I've just marked where the um, middle bit is, where the score line was. So I've just marked that with a pencil, so I'm just going to snip. Just line it up with my scissors. And then I'm just going to trim another little piece off, just a sliver. And on this one. I think this paper is called Blossom Pink. Anyway, I should put it in the descriptions. Um, glue. So now we're just going to um, so you can see where I've done that. So now we're just going to put these on so it gives a little a little shadow. Okay. And I thought it nice because it comes through um, the little die cut bits as well. If you watched um, Jodie, she did show you how. Well, I can't remember now because such a long time ago. But I don't know if she done it like I can't remember. One of the design team would know. They'd let us know. Uh. I'm just going to put that over the top of there. Because if you've done all of these joined together and you put it all the way around your box, you wouldn't get it open. Okay. Going back to the box. So your box is... Gonna, I'm going to take that out for a moment. Your box is going to open like that. I think that's, yeah. So, you need to put the hinge on now. Try and hold it together. So, that's going to go on there. But you just need that little bit of gap so that um, it comes apart nicely when you open it. These dies, they look, when you see it all laid out in the packaging, they look really daunting, don't they? And you think, oh my god, how am I going to do that? Been out in the garden today. Hands are a little bit swollen, but that's nothing new, is it? Wait, 
make sure this is stuck down before you go any further I would say And then you can start putting these ones on. Do all these ones first because it gives you the right spacing to get these on. Um, now on the box, I think this is quite clever, you know. On this box, I done the pink. I paper pieced the pink ones, but it looked. Um, when you look at it, it looks like the whole lot is paper pieced, doesn't it? But it's only just the pink ones. And then on these ones, I just done the black. But I, it's the uh, optical illusion because uh, they it looks all look paper pieced. And this one, yeah, I just done black on these ones. I thought, oh. Anyway, let's carry on putting this together. So I'm looking for the glue now big enough to see yeah it was fine this morning and uh, it's just yeah oh yeah it's raining a little bit harder now not raining it's not downpour but it's raining you know, we could really do it down where do with it um, down where I am We're in the southeast of England, and uh, yeah, we don't get a lot of rain. Mind you, we don't get a lot of sun even. Thing is, they build so many houses, and then we have drought. Oh, sorry, that's my belly. Now remember, you need to, that one stays open, so I'm just going to put the one that, um, glue. I was just having a look to make sure my packaging was um open but it's not i've got to try and remember how to do the buckle that's the thing if you can't remember um how to do it there are pictures there they do help and tonic has um videos as well um, I'll scratch that right this one next oh. putting this glue down and I'll keep doing the same mistake all over and over again I'm looking for it and I can't see it. Been watching the um, the tour of Italy on the cycling. I like that. And then it won't be long before it's Wimbledon. And then Christmas will be here. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh dear. Well, us crafters will be making our... It won't be long before we're making our Christmas things. Well, like I said, I already started. <laughs> it won't be long. Mm. 
No, I've already done uh, Father's Day. I do do something for Mother's Day, but that goes down to somewhere special. But so now you can put, oh, I've got four that, yeah, so now you can put these in. And then that gives you the spacing to put them in. You've got two designs as well. You've got this one and um, like a flowery design as well. So these are going to go all on each side, not all on each side, and I've just seen something I've missed. I wondered, I wondered why there was a big triangle. <laughs> oh dear. I'll show you in a minute. I didn't think about that. Slide that up a little bit more. That's it. Let me get one more. Let me show you, um, yeah, so I should have cut out that um, to go onto there, but I haven't done it, obviously you can do that. And one on that side, and then some on that side as well, <laughs> never mind. Well, I'm sorry about that. Right, so th that's done that. Okay, and your little... See, that you'd need that little bit in there to make that come open. And your little box would... Um, if you wanted to glue it, you could glue it there. And then that would fit in like that. Right, just hold those down for a little minute. Doesn't want to stay there. Um, so you get these as well. Where's those little sergeant stripes? Here they are. That's just um, now. I can remember Jody saying this. You've got two little lines. I've already bent mine, so I'll um, bring it up to the camera. 
so you've got two little lines close together where are we? there we are and you bend in the middle of those and it just find its own way that's it like so okay and then we're going to glue those together I suppose I should have done these first as well because that's going to take a long time to hold I'm just going to pop a little bit of um, red liner tape and that just goes over the top of the other one like so Let's just uh, grab another little bit of this. Now these two um, straps, I think, go on top of one another like so. Oh, dies are here, there, and everywhere. Is that right? Yeah. you'll need to cut out two of those and I presume I don't know if this is the same <gasps> oh. it only fits one way round I think Must be that way. It feels tight. No, hold on. We need to put these on first.
that's it I need to that's it you need it pointing that way that took me a time to figure out didn't it let me see so it needs to go on that way around those on first then that piece and those over the top and then that slides up there it's not very tight and that one like that that one's gone this one is ever so tight I'm going to bend it over so it finds it um, its own way. That's better. There. So you must have those these little pits pointing inwards or out. Was it inwards or outwards? And so that they catch over those little um, foldy over pieces like that, and then that hold your box together. And also, you need to decorate those pieces there. Anyway, I'll see you again real soon. Thank you for joining me and I'll, yeah, I'll be back with something else. Bye bye for now.